Hey, I got gold fever and you wouldn't believe it I'm out chasing gold and I don't want to leave it This gold detector has got me on the run All around Australia it's got me roaming I find a piece of two Well, we've been out hunting some goldies on our last trek out with the uh, Equinox 800s, our Mine Lab gear uh, absolutely smashed it as you will have seen in that clip we now moved on to a place where I've got a suspicion that it could be a little bit older and I'm going to have to readjust my program just to get some targets coming through. And you need to do that a little bit, don't you, the Coffee Bush Kid, uh, when we are moving into old sites, a wider program tends to be better? You have to be adjustable to the situation, whether it be increasing your sensitivity, decreasing your sensitivity, your recovery speed, or in fact, what you are notching out. That's right, so I'll change my notching now. I'm gonna notch out everything up to about 15 and leave all the rest open. If it is an old site, you just never know what you can uncover. You'll often hear though, as you will know, that a lot of people say, oh, I notched to 15. The reason we notch to that magic 15 number is that it's a half sovereign signal. Half sovereigns for 15, 18 for full sovereigns. And in an old site like this, you don't want to leave one of those behind. Absolutely not. Let's uh, get our machines on and go and see if we can uh, do a repeat of what happened when we were looking for the goldies. I got a really nice 24, 26 signal. It could have been a bottle cap, but sometimes you just get that feeling that, oh, you know, I've really got to dig it. Well, what we've got is a pulley. This is, in fact, if we clean this out a little bit better for you, this is a little rope pulley. I think it's a bit small for a window, but it would have been of something like that because what I want to show you is in between the groove there, there are little ridges, and that was for gripping the looped rope that went through it. So these are all brass, but they've also got a bit of a steel center in them, which can throw you off a little bit. But, you know, realistically, that's a really nice little relic. They're always good to find. They're always a thumping signal. And we found it in a spot where we didn't know anything about. So we're riding a winner already. All right, I've got a bit of a signal here. It sounds fairly close to the surface. It's got a fairly high and it's fairly stable in around my 27, 26 there. Come back there. Has to be having a look at it. Nice clear signal. I'm more used to hunting the goldies with this machine, but let's see what we've got down here. Here it's a nice solid sound straight off. Like I said, it was shallow. Gonna come back a little bit with my screwdriver here. Don't want to damage anything. Just gradually lift this up just in case there's something in there. Okay, let's have a look what I pulled out here. This looks like an old Nokia mobile phone battery. Now it's given off a good sound, probably because of the brass that's up on the top here, possibly. Uh, certainly uh, sounded off well and recovered by Gold Digger Dave while he's out in Bendigo using the Equinox 800. Well, I've come to the edge of this site because it looks a little bit more scraped than I would like. And you can see this little embankment and it goes up onto what I would call reasonably natural. And we also have a line of trees. So that denotes potentially a fence line. But what I do have here as I was going up is this beautiful little signal. And that's coming in 32, 34, 31. It's just the sort of thing that you can't leave in the ground. It could be spectacular rubbish. It could be silver or a penny. And it's just in that area there. So we are gonna give that a good old dig. I can get down deep in that one, which is good. We are still down deep. So I'll come at it from this side. Oh, there we go, we've got something steel. Oh, <laughs> there we go. 
show you that side, the unscraped side. That was a padlock. No wonder it gave us such a bloody good signal. They are a big thing. Anyway, we'll keep going.